It's a popular question we're asked frequently enough to answer. Are Hackintosh computers legal or illegal? So we did some research and uh, you know, really whittled it down to the most important parts of what could very well get you in trouble. Certainly not something you want to talk about or brag about because, uh, yeah, it, it's a, kind of a hot topic. Uh, we covered it in the, the link that you might find there in the video's description if you don't see this video embedded on the page itself. The thing I want to uh, let you guys know about before going any further with this, uh, we want to make this disclaimer right up front. The question being answered isn't whether or not it's right or ethical to build a Hackintosh. The question is whether or not it's potentially illegal to do so. Completely different things. You may think you should be able to do it, but the law may not be on your side. So we've got a handful of questions as we answered in, in depth in the article, and I would, I'd strongly recommend if you're interested in Hackintoshing or you've heard about people Hackintoshing, you send them the link not just to the video but the article too. Uh, we'll start out with the first question, Matt. Is it legal to sell a Hackintosh? Uh, simply put, no. Uh, and if you've heard about a company called uh, Psystar, uh, that's P-S-Y-S-T-A-R, uh, uh, they actually lost in court uh, when they attempted to sell a computer that was even capable of running OS X. Okay, so the greater question people might ask, don't I own the software? Actually, according to the uh, EULA, you're licensing the software from Apple. Even if you have a physical disk, you own your copy of OS X. So you can't really do anything with it if they say that you can't do anything with it. Exactly. It's, it's very, very strict what you can and can't do with their software, though they do allow you to do a lot of things like, for example, virtual uh, machines. You can install OS X on up to two virtual PCs, but you have to do that on a machine that's already running the same software. Okay, so you can't sell them. That, that duh. Uh, what about if you want to make one just for yourself or maybe for a friend and, and not sell what you've put together? Well, uh, the, the article here, it, it, it targets is this legal or not? And the basic answer to it is no. Because you are breaking an end-user license agreement, you are actually affecting copyright uh, the digital uh, copyright or the Millennium Act, all of those things, Apple actually would have grounds to sue you on. So I would say it's illegal in that case. The D Digital Millennium Copyright Act, the DMCA, is what you're you're talking about there. So what about uh, reverse engineering the code for quote unquote educational reasons? Um, yeah, this is a popular argument. Well, you know, I'm reverse engineering the script, so it's not really their script anymore. Um, actually, it's in the uh, in user license agreement that you cannot attempt even to reverse engineer the bootloader or the software. Okay, so really, what's the worst can happen? Well, uh, this for, for the answer to this question, I actually talked to Brett Trout. He's an attorney. Uh, he deals with copyright and patent law. And what he stated is, if Apple wants to make an example of you, let's say they do find you, your register or, or some information, your IP address comes through, because OS X does dial home from time to time, if they decide to make an example out of you, it could be extremely expensive and you will likely not have the money to even go to jury because, man, that is a costly adventure. You're looking at six figures sometimes just to defend yourself in court. So it would be an expensive nightmare for you if they do catch you. And uh, Brett also noted, you quoted him in the article, even if you could get a jury, you run the risk of not being able to convince the retired people on the jury that you are right and Apple is wrong. Exactly, because the jury is going to look at two sides. They're going to see one guy that decided to circumvent a copyright in order to uh, make their computer work in a way that Apple did not intend uh, their software to work. Uh, and then you're going to look at a corporation that has international grounds and a long history of knowing exactly what their software should and shouldn't do. It, it's going to be really hard to them that you're in the right. Well, the jury doesn't seem like it's out on this. Uh, it's pretty definitive. Uh, the law isn't on the Hackintoshers' side. Absolutely.